Game number three of the 1968 season for the Washington State Cougars finds them playing here on the home turf at Rogers Field in Pullman for the first time this fall. Their opponents, the Utah Redskins, who just a week ago lost by a mere three points to the powerful Oregon State Beavers. Here's the Cougar offensive lineup for this intersectional battle. WSU is going, you'll notice, with Jerry Henderson at quarterback, and it's possible he'll be throwing out of the T formation, the I formation, and the shotgun. The Cougar defensive unit, which especially in the second half really distinguished itself against the strong UCLA Bruins, will line up this way. It's a group that has performed quite well as a team unit in both the Cougars' first two games, with the defensive secondary especially strong against the pass. Utah has dropped its first two games, but no one can accuse the Redskins of picking on the Patsies. Those losses have been to Nebraska and Oregon State. These are the 11 starters for Utah on the attacking team. The key man is quarterback Ray Groth, who isn't very big, but who is a talented combination runner and passer. Utah is in its first year under new head coach Bill Meek, so it's a case of two men new to their jobs meeting head on, Meek and Jim Sweeney of WSU. Defensively, the Redskins will line up like this, and it's likely they'll be looking at more passing from the Cougars than they saw from Oregon State last week. That has to be a cinch. Well, those are the lineups. Next, we'll have the opening kickoff and the first quarter action. Kicking off for Utah is Whiteley. And he sends a sailor that's going to be taken by Mark Williams. Fumbles, has to pick it up in the one. Hit at the 10 and falls forward to the 14-yard line. In the Cougar backfield, Henderson, Smith, Carmichael, Johnny Davis is the flanker, and he's split to the right side. Running off the tee. And a pass on the first play. And Carmichael drops the ball a little bit behind him. This is the second and 10 play. The artist yard line is the 15. Hand off up the middle goes Carmichael, breaks into the secondary. Nice gain of seven yards to the 22. An important play if they're to continue the drive. Third and three, the handoff. Richard Smith, and he does not get it. He's dropped for a yard loss. Hank Grenda into punt on fourth down. And his putt is not an especially long one, but might get a bounce and does. Street is going back to pick it up at the 28-yard line, falls on it at the 29. Set to go with Ray Groth at quarterback, and they set a wing back off the left end. And that is uh, Dave Smith. And here's the handoff up the middle goes the fullback Molnar. He may have fumbled, but uh, the whistle may have blown as well. He gained about five. Gorton and Bartell were the prime tacklers. Yard line is the 34, second down and five. Groth has it, runs the keeper himself and breaks into the secondary. It's gonna be trouble. He's caught by Mark Williams after getting a first down at the 46. Little Ray Groth is only 5'10", 175 pounds. He showed his running ability there. It's first and 10. And the handoff, Molnar the fullback, gets a couple of yards is all up to the 48 yard line. Second and eight, Reed and Schultz were in on the tackle for the Cougars. Groth waits, hands off, straight ahead goes Smith, the halfback piling his way for four yards to the Cougar 48. Sophomore tackle Dave Berger was the stopper on the play. It brings up third down and four, big play for both clubs. Here's Groth fading back to throw, may run. Now he's throwing the long bomb. And a great catch by Thomas, Thomas may go. And he will score. What a catch. That was a 48-yard scoring play with Lou Speedy Thomas, the receiver. What a great effort at beating Mark Williams. Here's the extra point. Kicked and good by Utah. And the score goes to the Utes, seven. The Cougars, nothing. By the way, that was a 71-yard drive with the big play, the 48-yard pass. Sears kicked the extra point, and here comes Whiteley kicking off for the Utes. This one's end over end and goes deep into the end zone, five yards deep. Williams is going to run it out. Splits up the middle and crosses the 20 to the 23 or 4. 
First and 10 Cougars at their own 23, and they shift to the shotgun for the first time today with the split men to the right, and now Utah charges through, and let's see what they call. A Cougar lineman moved when the back shifted, and the Utah charge uh, put the onus on the Cougars, and this time uh, there's another false charge through. Now after two miscues by the lineman, it's back where it was, first and 10, Richard Lee Smith off tackle, breaks across the 25 to the 27. And the second down play coming up, six yards to go at the 27. Carmichael splitting to the right side, breaks through for five, he'll be a yard short of a first down. Third down, less than a yard to go for the Cougars at their own 33. They trail seven to nothing. First quarter, a handoff, second man through. Smith spins his way, gets the first down at the 35-yard line. That was WSU's first first down of the ball game. And it's right out in midfield at the 35. And back to the shotgun, Henderson deep. Jerry starts to run and has got some running room. And he couldn't get away from that outside tackler, Hanson. He's down after a three-yard gain. Second down and seven, Cougars at their own 38-yard line. Still in the eye. And no shift. They run out of it, giving it to Smith. Smith breaks over his own blocker and then is down from the rear after getting four yards. Number 33, Bob Ewan, is in at fullback, replacing Carmichael. Third and three, they shift to the shotgun. Cougars have tried only one pass up to this point, but they'll try one here, and it's a screen complete to Ewan. 40. Slips and almost goes down, and they did say he went down, and it might be not enough for a first down. It is not. A new punter for the Cougars, Hugh Kloffenstein, number 86, the defensive end. And he booms a pretty good one, not especially long. It's going to be taken by Barker at the 27. And he gets away from tacklers. Can't, gets away from Carmichael. Finally, he's grabbed by Carmichael again after bringing it up to the 43-yard line. Utah with good field position. First and 10 at its own 43. Groth is the quarterback. Hands off the fullback. Molnar off tackle to the right, powering his way for five yards. Second and five at the 48 for the Utes, who lead seven to nothing in this first quarter. Groth on the option play, ducks inside, gets the first down near the 45-yard line of the Cougars. At this point, the Cougars have been hard put to contain the Utes. They have the wing back to the right side. That's Fowler, and Fowler goes in motion now. It's a slant back to the other side, carrying the ball is Smith, and he stopped after a short gain of a couple of yards by Schultz. Second and eight for the Redskins at the Cougar 43. Split right is Thomas. The other players are all in close. Fowler in motion. There was a mess up in the play there. Groth back to pass. Overshoots his man. And that was intended for Molnar, the fullback. An illegal motion penalty against Utah was refused by the Cougars. This time they come up with split men to either side on third and eight at the 43. And Groth on the sprint out to the left. Now he's looking, throwing. And incomplete intended for Fowler at the sideline. Craig Smith, number 41, is the Utah punter, and he's back there, presumably to punt. Williams is back the deepest. Also, Reed and Field are back there. And he may aim for Coffin Corner, and it's going toward the goal line and will bounce and go into the end zone and through it for a touchback. As the Cougs come up to the line, it's their ball first and 10 at the 20, and they trail 7 and nothing. Less than seven minutes to play, first quarter, handoff, second man, Smith hit right at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Gary Curl, number 86, defensive end, was the tackler in the play, second and 10 at the 20. In motion comes Johnny Davis, and the pitches to Davis. And too many uh, tacklers and not enough blockers, yard loss. Third down, a little more than 10 yards to go at the 20. And a direct snap to Ewan, who's putting on the quick kick. Over the head, it takes a bounce that goes out of bounds near the 36-yard line of Utah Territory. 
Utah ball, first and 10 at the Ute 36. Thomas is split to the right, the other players are in tight. This is Groth, handing off the first man, Molnar, two, three yard gain at most. Dave Crema was the first tackler to get through that time. It's second and eight at the 38. And here's Groth with a play action pass, throwing into the flat, got his man, complete to Smith, and Smith is held on to and downed at the 45 yard line. It's third down, a yard and a half to go. Schultz, the tackler on the play. Thomas split right, Groth hands off Molner. Molner gets, I think, the first down with a yard and a half or two. It was a first down, it's at the Utah 47 yard line. Little Ray Groth has his man uh, start offside, but he gets back all right. Now here's Groth on the sprint out right. Now he's being chased, throws a long one downfield toward Thomas, over his head and over the head of Reed, the defender. Second down, 10 to go, 47 yard line after the incompletion. Groth has it, sprint out, pitches back. Being driven wide is Smith and gets knocked out of bounds at the 48 for a yard gain. Give Dave Smith a gain of two to the 49. Third and eight, Rick Reed was the tackler. Now big play for both clubs again. As Groth sprints out left, being pressured by Kloffenstein, throws over the head of Thomas off his fingertips. Craig Smith is now into punt and three receivers go back for the Cougars with Williams the deepest man. Smith has averaged better than 40 yards on his kicks this year. And he booms a dandy, tremendous punt that should go into the end zone. Does, and it bounces, bounces. If it comes out, it's a live ball, but it does not come out, it's a touchback. That was a 51-yard punt. Jerry Henderson still at quarterback. Cougars ball, first and 10 at their 20. And Henderson to pass. Throws complete, and it's uh, Souza who's got it up to the 38-yard line, first down. That was a gain of uh, 18 yards to Souza. Now Souza's been replaced by Lee Suxdorf at end, waiting for the first down play. Henderson gives off to Solberg in a tailback. Good hold, good blocking. Gets through to the 43-yard line. Give Solberg, number 24, a gain of six to the 44, second and four here, running from the eye. And off to McCarmichael, got the first down at the 50. Call the yard line, the 49 of Utah, deepest penetration by the Cougars so far. Henderson straightens up, maybe calling an audible at the line of scrimmage. Pitches to Solberg, Solberg trying to go wide. Got Hansel in front of him, cuts inside the block and gains uh, six yards. That gain for six yards, second and four at the 43 of Utah. From the eye formation, Henderson hands off Solberg, through for a sh of three yards, not quite enough for the first down. One minute, 38 seconds to go, first quarter. Cougars trail, seven to nothing. Third down, one yard to go for a first down. Hand off Solberg, and didn't get it, I don't believe. It's fourth down, a foot to go, and the Cougars will go for it. Ewan is in, so Solberg, and Solberg gets the first down with a couple of yards to spare. The first downs are now even up at four apiece. The Cougars have used the pass sparingly so far in the game. They have it first and 10 at the 38 yard line and the handoff to Carmichael who can't get uh, more than a yard on that play. Larry Thatcher, number 45, has replaced Freddie Moore. They may not get a playoff here, one second to go. Yes, they will get the playoff and Henderson is back to pass. Throws for Thatcher and the interference call, I believe, against Utah. As the gun sounds, the end of the first quarter with the score, Utah 7, WSU nothing. The period cannot officially end on a penalty play, so they'll go in this direction for one more, and that'll be the last one in the quarter. Carrying the ball, Solberg breaks through for a gain of uh, about six yards to the 12 or 11 yard line. And that is the end of the first quarter with the score, Utah 7, Washington State nothing.
To open the second quarter, the Cougars have it. Second down, a short four yards to go at the 12 yard line. Here's the pitch, carrying the ball, Solberg, going wide, runs into opposition at the 11 for a yard gain. It's now third and two and a half at the 10 and a half yard line. Solberg running hard, may have the first down. It looks like he's got it at the seven. It's first and goal at the seven and a half yard line. The power eye in the backfield and the handoff Solberg left side spins his way to the four. Solberg was credited with forward progress to the three. It's second and goal. Here's Solberg again, leaping over the pile. He gets to maybe the one and a half yard line. There are now two fullbacks in the lineup, Ewan and Carmichael. Here's Solberg piling to the goal line, but he didn't get across the line. It will be fourth down coming. Fourth down at the half yard line, Richard Lee Smith, 21, is now in a tailback. He gets the call, and he apparently did not get over. The Utes have held. Well, a terrific goal line stand by the Utes. Now they're in a trouble spot. Let's see what the Cougars make out of this defensively. And it's going to be a quick kick on a direct snap. And they almost blocked it for that matter, but it goes way upfield across the 40. Cougars get away from it, goes to the 47-yard line, and that's where they will take over. Now that goal line is 47 yards away, and here's the snap back to Henderson on a short count over the middle. Johnny Davis, 40, 35, spins away and gets to the 31-yard line. That was a gain of 15 to the 32. This time the shift is to the shotgun. The strength is to the left. Henderson deep. Henderson hands off on the draw play to Ewan. 25, 20, and carries a tackler or two with him almost to the 15-yard line. Well, forget about that nice gain. An offside meant a five-yard penalty, takes the ball back to the 36, and this time there's a contact at the line of scrimmage on the shift. The Cougars were charged with illegal procedure. It's now first and 20 at the 41. Shifting into the shotgun, Henderson is deep, and Jerry will pass. Good protection, throws to Freddie Moore, got it at the 25, close to a first down, but not quite. 11 and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. The Cougars trail seven and nothing. They have a second and a yard, and the handoff Solberg, and Solberg is held and then dives forward and gets the first down inside the 20. WSU is ahead in first downs now, seven to four unofficially. Anderson handing off Solberg. This time he's hit down by Stone, the linebacker, got a yard or so. Cougars with a second down and nine, and here's Henderson back to pass, throws over the middle, complete to Souza. Souza's got it to the 13 for a gain of maybe four or five yards, and a flag goes down. There was a six-yard gain on the pass and a six-yard half the distance to the goal line penalty for a late tackle, puts the ball on the sixth, first down, Solberg diving to the four. Larry Thatcher, 45, has replaced Johnny Davis. Thatcher lines up at left half in the power eye. Hand off to Solberg, spinning his way. A yard and about a foot more to go for the touchdown. Here's Henderson. Hand off Solberg, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage. It is fourth down at the two, and Utah trying to make another goal line stand. The score is still 7-0, Utah leading. Henderson waits, he's got it, and he bootlegs, throws, trying to throw. He fumbles, it's recovered, in any case, Utah takes over the ball. It was ruled an incomplete pass, and Utah lines up in punt formation. At first down at the two-yard line. There's no safety man deep for the Cougars. Now Field backs up a little bit. And they're going to run off it all right. They suspected a uh, fake, and they run it out to the seven-yard line. Quarterback Groth was the ball carrier out to the seven on the sneak. Now this time they line up in a potential punt formation once again. Again, the Cougars don't believe it. And again, they're going to run, and hitting is Smith, Dave Smith, and he gets about a yard. Once again, uh, Dave Smith lines up, or Craig Smith, as a potential punter. Kloffenstein and Berger on the tackle in the last play. This is third down, about four to go, and this time he will punt. 
Field tries to backpedal and get back, and the ball bounces away from them with a sideways bounce, a good Cougar bounce, out of bounds on the 41 and a half yard line. WSU has had excellent field position for a long time now. They just haven't been able to cash in. This time they line up in the uh, shotgun, and there's that handoff and a fumble! Defensive tackle Jack Miller recovered for Utah. It's at the Utes 43 yard line and this gives them some good field position with eight minutes, 10 seconds to go second quarter. Groth at quarterback and his receiver fell down. Now he's gonna have to run. He's throwing over and a great catch by Smith. Tremendous one hand catch. He's still going to the 35 yard line. That fine play was nullified by Utes having an illegal receiver downfield. 15-yard penalty takes it back to the 28-yard line. Here's Groth on the sprint out, chased by Crema. Throws and in, incomplete. The receiver hit immediately as the ball got there. Groth has only hit two out of seven passes, but one was a 48-yarder for a touchdown to Speedy Thomas, who is split left about five yards as this play lines up. In motion goes Smith, and back to pass goes Groth, chased by Crema and Gorton, reverses. Now he's being trapped, throws. It is, and a, uh, the receiver gets away from a tackler, brings it up to the 45-yard line, will not have a first down. Tacked on to the nice gain was a 15-yard personal foul penalty against the Cougars, putting it on the 39-yard line, first down Utes. Cougars dropping off people on defense. There's the ball carrier Molner through for a gain of four to the 35. It's second, six at the Cougar 35. Groth, the quarterback, waits for the snap. Cougars readjust on defense. Running the option, he's caught and dropped for a gain of just a yard. Wayne Sueda was the tackler. It's now third and five of the Cougar 34. Big play here. Groth, spread out, pass play to the uh, right side. Out running, Crema throws. It's up for grabs, intercepted. Here comes Schultz, back across the 25 and almost to the 30. Dick Schultz made the interception of a pass that was wobbly and up for grabs. Henderson is the quarterback, handing off to Richard Lee Smith, going wide, tries to pick his way through the tacklers and can't do it. He loses at least two. The loss was for three yards, and it's uh, the shotgun formation now on second and 13. Henderson looking, throwing to the sideline, complete to Souza, tries to stay in bounds, brings it up to the 36. He's a couple of yards short of a first down. Forty-five Thatcher has replaced Moore on a third and two play and in the shotgun Henderson and the Cougars may have taken too much time. After the penalty it's now third and seven at the 31 shotgun with Henderson deep. So far good protection throwing over the middle and a badly thrown pass incomplete. Kloppenstein is the punter. Gets an end over end kick away with lots of power. Street is going to take it at the 22. Looking for his hole. The return is on to the right side. Now he's got some blockers. Uh oh. Flag goes down on the return. He's to the 45 and down at the Cougar 39 yard line. A clipping penalty wiped out that nice return. The Utes have it first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. And almost a false start in the backfield. They reset, however. And the handoff's the fullback, Molner, nowhere. Dave Berger led the tacklers. The gain was for one to the 20, second and nine. Four minutes to play in the half. Utes with the ball, and they lead seven to nothing on the sprint out. And here is, try the one-hand catch, and no good, incomplete. A penalty against Utah for holding half the distance to the goal, which was in this case 10 yards, takes it to the 10, where it is second and 19. As on the sprint out right, Groth looks for the receiver, throws complete to Thomas. Thomas knocked out of bounds near the 19. He was knocked out of bounds in the 29-yard line, just good enough for a first down, a 19-yard gain. So the Utes have a new lease on life with 3.50 to play in the half. There's Groth throwing, complete to Thomas. Gets away from Reed with a nice fake. Still going, looking for his blockers. And gets another first down at the 47-yard line. 
Groth has now hit five for 11 on his passing, and Thomas has been the big receiving gun for sure. Here's another pass play coming up, although he may decide to run. And out of bounds for a gain of a couple at the 49. The yard line is smack dab on the 50. It'll be second down and uh, a long seven to go. Shown is now in replacing Schultz, who was shaken up, making the tackle on the last play. There's a long one downfield that's going to be out of bounds, almost an interception by field. Third downs. Third down, roughly seven and a half, and Groth on the sprint out. May run or may pass, throwing, throwback pattern complete to Andrews, and it's good for a first down to the 34-yard line. Greg Soles, number 43, is now in the Utah backfield, replacing Dave Smith. It is a first and 10 at the 34-yard line of the Cougars with 2.48 to play. Double reverse. Soles runs right into a tackler, and down he goes for a loss of a yard or two. Dan White, number 69, the big junior college transfer, made the stop on the play. It's second and 12 at the 36 with 2.15 to play in the half. This is Groth again, being pressured, throws over the middle, got his man, and Andrews drops the ball, and it's called an incomplete pass. The receiver, Andrews, was ruled not to have held the ball long enough for reception and a fumble on that last play, simply an incomplete pass. Third down and 12, and Groth to throw toward the sideline, knocked down by Reed, he couldn't quite intercept. On 4th and 12, the Utes have put in their punter, Craig Smith. Whether he'll punt or not is something else. The Cougars do not trust him, and Field is the only man deep, and he's not a real deep safety. But he will punt, aiming it toward the corner. Boy, he's a good kicker. And it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20, where the Cougars will take over. With a minute and 54 seconds to go, they line up in the shotgun without shifting into it, and Henderson is deep. And Henderson throwing a long one downfield for Johnny Davis. That is out of bounds, incomplete. Gary Barker actually intercepted that ball, but he was out of bounds. And here's Henderson again with good protection, throwing over the middle. Freddie Moore hangs on a great catch at the 42. And the Cougars are trying to run a play without a huddle here and will with a minute and 37 seconds to go in the half. Henderson in the T formation. And he'll go from there with a pass, throwing out of bounds, incomplete to Moore. The incompletion stopped the clock with 127 to go in the half. Again, they line up in the shotgun. Henderson to throw, good protection, throwing over the middle, and incomplete intended for Thatcher. This will be the third and 10 play from the Cougar 42 yard line and Henderson throwing again. Short one over the middle of Thatcher. Can't get away from a tackler, does not make the first down. He gains only six. Henderson at this point is seven for 13 in his passing and with fourth and four at the 48. Oh, a bad pass over the head of Kloppenstein. What's he gonna be able to do? Not much. They fall on the ball at the 21 yard line. Great break for Utah. Now, Utah has an excellent chance. There's still 58 seconds to go in the half. Groth, the quarterback, he's the key man here, back to pass, and he's looking for the set up the screen, Does, and it's dropped by Smith. Greg Soles, number 43, has replaced Dave Smith, who just dropped the pass, second and 10 on the Cougar 21. And the sprint out to the right. Groth throwing toward the end zone. Was it intercepted? No, it's incomplete. The defender on the play who almost made the diving interception, Rick Reed. Now it's third and 10 at the 21. And the Cougars expect a pass. And here comes uh, Groth. Now he may run the ball and he may get a chance to go. He's to the five yard line almost, a first down there. 38 seconds to play. It's a first down at the six yard line. 38 seconds to play in the half when the clock starts. Utah stopped the clock with a timeout there. And here's the, hand, the pitch back. Carrying the ball, dropping for a loss, is Fowler the tailback. Utah lining up for a quick play and trying to run one without a huddle. 24 seconds, 23, throwing out of bounds and almost intercepted by the Cougars as it was blocked at the line of scrimmage. 
21 seconds to play. Clock stopped on the incompletion. Third down at the 11 yard line. And here's Groth faking to Souls. Back to throw. Throws a little short one. That is complete at the six yard line. And there are five seconds to play. They're running a play and they, the flag goes down. The clock stops with three seconds to go. That was a fourth down play. The Cougars decline the penalty and take over with three seconds to go. And Utah missed a grand opportunity to get a field goal by using up their timeouts. And with that play, the half ends with the score at the midway point. Utah seven, the WSU Cougars nothing. Well, the first half was kind of a missed opportunity situation for the Cougars, who twice were held inside the Utah five-yard line, and then Utah blew a chance for a possible field goal by running out of time and timeouts with just seconds to play in the half. So it's seven to nothing, and the statistical side of it shows this. Washington State out first down to Utah, 11 to nine. The rushing yardage in uh, the Cougars' favor, 85 to 60. The passing yardage in Utah's favor, 129 to 90. And of course, that touchdown pass was the big one, 48 yards there. Utah hitting seven for 19 passes. The Cougars seven for 12. The punting average uh, by coincidence, 43 yards each. The Cougars lost a fumble in one key situation. And uh, Utah was penalized 69 yards, the Cougars 20. That's the statistical story. We'll be ready with the second half kickoff and third quarter action in just a moment. All set for the second half kickoff. And it's going to be Hank Grenda booting the ball, apparently soccer style for the Cougars. Speedy Thomas is deep. Here's Grenda's boot, and it is soccer style, spinning to Thomas at the six yard line. Now it's going to be Souls who takes it rather than Thomas, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 21 by Gorton. Now the first scrimmage play of the second half with Utah leading 7 0. Ray Groth, number 12, is the quarterback. Handing off to Molnar, the fullback, and he breaking through for a nice gain up to the 26 yard line. The tackler was Steve Bartell, who hails from right here at Pullman. It's second and five at the 26. Groth on the, the keeper play, hit at the line of scrimmage, and down he goes for a yard at most. Berger and Gorton made the tackle. It's third down and four at the 27. Important play here as Groth fades for a possible pass, throws over the middle, and it is uh, deflected and then taken by a lineman. A flag goes down. The signal was given for illegally touched ball. Gordon Jolly, number 73, a tackle, received that ball, and it's loss of a down. It brings up fourth down and 25 yards to go. Mark Williams is deep. The punter is Craig Smith. And a low driving kick that Rick Reed is going to take at the 48 to the 50. Nice running by Rick as he brings it back to the 47. First offensive chance of this half for WSU. Carmichael is at fullback. Richard Lee Smith, the tailback in the eye. Henderson at quarterback. Richard Lee Smith, and he dives through for a gain of five to the 42. It is now second and five at the 42. Again, running out of the eye, and again, almost the same play. This time, no hole, but he manages to get to the 40. It's third and three at the Utah 40. And they hand off to Smith on the third straight play. He gains a yard, yard and a half is all. It's going to bring up fourth. The Cougars have had some trouble with their short yardage offense, and there's a false charge through, and I think the Cougars did it. A WSU lineman moved, so that's a five-yard penalty, and now with longer yardage, Grenda will punt. And Hank sends a long one downfield. Fair catch taken at the seven-yard line. That was sort of a strange place to call for a fair catch, but Street did it, and now Utah has the ball at its eight, and Groth is at quarterback. And the handoff to Molnar, who gets nowhere. Bartell stopped Molnar for a loss of a half yard on the play, second down and almost 11 to go, and here's Groth with a fake to one man. He's going to run, has a little room, and the tacklers get him at the 10-yard line for a gain of three. 
With third down and eight at the 10, Utah goes into punt formation, but there's, uh, there's all kinds of uh, illegal procedures there, I would think. Greg Field misses the ball once. Let's see what he makes out of it. There's a lot of flags down on the play. Field at the 40, 45, and out of bounds at the 48 or nine yard line. The penalty would have been against Utah, illegal procedure. The Cougars declined it and take the ball at their own 49 yard line. Henderson still at quarterback. And off Smith, they got uh, messed up on that one. There's a loss of two or three. It is now second down and 12 at the 47. And in the shotgun, Henderson will throw over the middle. Johnny Davis avoids a tackler, but not quite, and gets a short gain on the play. It is third and seven at the Ute 48. Shotgun, Henderson deep. Throwing the long bomb toward Freddie Moore. It's going to be a fight for the ball. Who got it? It evidently was a half-and-half half reception, and it goes to the offensive man, Freddie Moore, first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Great play. Here's the pitch back, carrying the ball, Ewan. Ewan powers to the inside the 10 to the 7- or 6-yard line. That was number 33, Bob Ewan, the sophomore from Portland. It's now on the 6-and-a-half-yard line, and carrying the ball, Richard Smith to the 3. And that is good for a first down at the three yard line. Eight and a half minutes to go, third quarter. Hand off Smith, getting down to the one. He's close, not in though. Second down on the half yard line. Henderson waiting to Ewan. Ewan trying to go off the pile. He got in. The successful drive was for 51 yards. Here's Grenda's extra point kick. It is good. The score is tied. Utah 7, WSU 7. On the extra point kick, there was a legal procedure called against Utah. It was declined, and here's Grenda kicking off. Beautiful high kickoff, and Street will take it at the four. A lot of speed up the middle. Uh-oh, look out. He's going to go. Trying to catch him is Shank. I don't think they're going to get Street. He will be 96 yards for a Utah touchdown. Jim Sears will kick the extra point. Jim Street, who scored, is a six-footer, 207-pound senior from Los Angeles. And the kick is up. It is good. The score goes very quickly to Utah, 14, WSU 7. Jim Whiteley kicking off for Utah. Let's see what happens on this one. It's a low spinning kick taken by Carmichael at the 23. 30, hit down at the 35-yard line in WSU territory. First and 10 Cougars at their 35. Ewan, and here's uh, Henderson running perhaps, being chased, trying to get rid of it, can't do it. Drop for a loss at the 26. Time to play in the third quarter. Just a little over seven minutes. Henderson shifting into the deep spot on the shotgun. Looks like he wants to throw a screen. Does to Ewan. Ewan gets a good block from two men. And up to the 35 and piling forward almost to the 40. He does get to the 40. A pivotal play for WSU. They line up in the shotgun on third and five. And Henderson to throw. Now he looks to run. Throwing after all. Souza's got it for the first down with a yard to spare. Souza evidently was juggling the ball as he crossed the sideline. It was an incomplete pass, the ruling. Kloffenstein kicking, high floater, short, fair catch at the 31 by Barker. Utah has scored both its touchdowns on long gainers, a 48-yard pass and a 97-yard kickoff return. Now here's Ray Groth, the quarterback, faking to two men to pass, being tackled by Sueda. He fumbles the ball! It's ruled a fumble. No, yes it is. Groth did not get into his passing motion. It was a fumble. Berger hit him. Here's Smith. And Smith uh, doesn't get anywhere. And he may have fumbled. He did, and Utah recovers. Gary Curl recovered Smith's fumble. It's first and 10 Utah at the Utah 10. With 5.50 to go in the third quarter, and Utah leading 14-7. After a long count, Groth gives off to fullback Molnar, who gains a yard. 
Hank Bendix, Steve Bartell made the tackle on Molnar, second and nine at the 11 yard line. Groth hands off the first man through and Smith is through for a gain. It was Molnar rather up to the 19 yard line. Big play for the Cougar defenders, third and one after that eight yard gain to the 19. In motion, Smith, quarterback sneak, and it looks like Groth got the first down all right to the 21. Here's the first and 10 play from the Utah 21. And the option play, and there goes Groth breaking out of there, across the 30, and he's tackled by Field at the 31. Second, a yard to go for the first down at the 31. Groth could try almost anything here. Fakes, keeps it, almost caught. He's got the first, uh, got a lot of yardage here, and finally down at the 45 yard line. Utah has now moved from its own 10 to its 45. Another first down as Groth has looked good on the series. Hands off to his fullback. Molnar gets a yard. Bartell and Berger were in on the stop. This is the second and nine play at the 46. Fakes to one man and a drop for a loss. Great play that time by uh, Gorton and Bartell. Now it is third down and 14 yards to go. Big play. Long count by Groth. Now he has it. Rolling out to run or pass. Setting to throw. Nice catch by Thomas. He does not get the first down. He's several yards short. Craig Smith is into punt, and he's done a good job of kicking the ball for Utah today. Williams and Field are deep for the Cougars. Tremendous punt. That's going to sail into the end zone, I'm sure, and out of it for a touchback. In the third quarter, one minute, 35 seconds left. Cougars take over on their own 20. Here's the first down play. The pitch out, carrying the ball, Ewan, and he slips and falls as he cuts right at the line of scrimmage. Cleats for the runners of both teams are not holding too well in the turf. It rained yesterday. Today has been very dry, and here's Henderson throwing. And an interception, a flag goes down. This might be a touchdown. Carrying the ball in is Fred McFerrin, the linebacker. A defensive holding call. Defense Utah not only takes away a touchdown, but gives the Cougars 15 yards upfield and a first down at the 35. Talk about uh, the turning point. Here's Henderson handing off to Solberg, who doesn't get anywhere up the middle. Eighteen seconds to play in the third quarter, 14 to 7, Cougars trail in the shotgun, Henderson. And he's grabbed and can't get it away. And before another play can be run, that's the end of the third quarter with a score, Utah 14, Washington State 7. This now is the first play of the fourth quarter with third and long yardage and a double reverse to John Davis. Trying to come down the sideline, but he's grabbed after a five yard gain. Hank Grenda will be the Cougar punter on fourth down. And Hank booms a tremendous one out of there. It's gonna be taken by Speedy Thomas at the 24. He back pedals all the way to the 14, 15 yard line. They give him forward progress to the 18. And uh, it was a 43-yard punt by Grenda, and the tackle was made by Harris. First and 10 on the 18 for Utah. In motion, Smith, and a handoff up the middle and slipping and getting nowhere is the fullback. It's up to the Cougar defense and hold in this series. They have them second and a little more than 10 yards to go. Groth with the sprint out pattern. He's being hemmed in, and it is incomplete. Thomas juggled and dropped. Sueda, 93, has replaced Kloffenstein at defensive end. Hugh seemed to hurt himself a little bit. And here is Groth running, slowed up by Crema. Oh, he gets away from tacklers and then slips and falls, and he may have the first down at that. After a measurement, it's fourth down and about a foot to go, and Smith, the punter, is in. We'll see if he does punt. Back as a single safety is field, and now Mark Williams is backpedaling to be with him. Evidently will punt all right. Get it away, got it away. And here's Mark Williams, 40, 45, 
down at the 50. 13 minutes to play in the game. Henderson still at quarterback. Here's the pitch out. Ewan carrying. Solberg blocking. Inside the 45 to the 43. Second down, a long three yards to go. Solberg and Ewan are left, and oh, there's a false charge through. The reaction is by Utah, and we'll have a penalty. A five-yard penalty for illegal procedure puts the ball back to the 48. Second down and eight yards to go. And the handoff, Ewan, no, and a, and a completed pass to Souza. It was completely faked. He's out of bounds near the 43-yard line, 38-yard line. That's good for a Cougar first down at the 38. Davis, who is out, is back in after Thatcher replaced him for one play. Here's Solberg getting away from tacklers, but only momentarily gets three. Second and seven Cougars at the Utah 36. Here's Henderson to, U to Ewan, blocking by Solberg, and Ewan runs over tacklers and out of bounds for a first down inside the 25. Sophomore back Bob Ewan's having himself a pretty good day. Now he lines up at right half and Solberg is at left half in this particular formation. Cross buck carrying the ball, Solberg, pretty good hole. Look at him drive inside the 20, may have fumbled. That was a gain of four for Solberg to the 21, second and six. Cougars line up in the eye, Solberg the tailback, Ewan in front of him. Solberg trying to go outside, cannot get away from Gary Curl. They're in the four down zone, but this is still an important play on third and about six. The pitch out to Ewan, Solberg a nice block. There goes Ewan, bouncing his way inside the 10. It's the two sophomores, Ewan and Solberg, who are doing the damage so far. There's Solberg running, he's gonna score! <laughs> on the extra point attempt, Henderson holding high pass, Brenda gets the kick up, it's a weird one, but it is good, and the score is tied 14 to 14. That drive was for 49 yards and eight plays to get the tying touchdown. Now Grenda kicking off, anything might happen. But he is booting it long and deep, and Street takes it on the two. Last time he got it, he ran it back all the way. This time he brings it back to the 30. With 9.50 to play in the fourth quarter, a brand new ball game. Let's see what Ray Groth, who's a good one, comes up with. Fakes to two men, gives off to the third man, Fowler. Through for a gain of at least five, maybe six. Second and four at the 36-yard line. Groth for a quick flip-out pass that's deflected by Crema at the line of scrimmage. Another one of those critical plays. Third and four at the 36, and there's the sprint out. Groth dangerous either way, plays it. He throws, he's got the first down if the man hangs on. He hung on, I think, and recovered his own fumble. A big first down as Bill Fowler hung on. And it's first and 10 at the Utah 43. In motion goes Fowler. And back to pass, Groth throwing long downfield interception, Mark Williams. First and 10, Cougars now, and back to pass, Henderson. The flag goes down, complete to Davis. And Davis is down after gaining about four or five yards. A five-yard offside penalty against WSU. First and 15 at the 39. Henderson throwing off the tee and incomplete out of bounds. Second and 15 at the Cougar 39. Shifting into the shotgun. The split men are all to the left. And Henderson throwing. Complete. Solberg is tackled in his tracks and doesn't gain a thing. On the third and 15 play, Larry Thatcher, 45, has replaced Johnny Davis at a split position. And Thatcher goes in motion. Here's a pitch back to Thatcher and a reverse to Solberg and passing back to Henderson. Henderson gets away from a tackler, but he does not get the first down at the 45. After a double handoff, that wound up in the hands of Henderson again, but it's fourth down, and they're trying to block it, and Street doesn't quite do it. Grenda with a nice punt, but it's, oh, it's picked up by Thomas. And they've got him surrounded. And he's being hemmed in at the 10-yard line. Well, Utah's a long way to go. Seven minutes and six seconds to play in the game. 14-14 game at their own 10-yard line. Long count by Groth. 
Hands off and a straight ahead pop by the halfback for a couple of yards. Dave Smith took the ball to the 12 where it is second and eight. That's a new quarterback in the game, Collins now. And the fullback Muller is caught for a loss by three Cougars, Berger and Crema and also Gorton. Well, you might uh, almost expect anything here. It's third down, but Smith will punt, and he almost had it blocked, and they're going to drop a flag for roughing the punter. Greg Field with the reception at the 44-yard line, but it will cost the Cougars on the penalty. It was reasonably obvious to roughing the kicker. A 15-yard penalty takes it out to the 27 for it's a first down for Utah. Draw play. Smith is caught by one man, gets back to the line of scrimmage, however. The gain was for a yard by Dave Smith. Here's the second and nine play, and Groth back to pass, being pressured, and dropped for a loss at the 23-yard line. The quarterback is number 15, Tim Collins from Glendale, California. Third down and 14 to go at the 23, and Collins back to pass, throwing toward the sideline. He's got Speedy Thomas. He does not have the first down. It's fourth coming up. On fourth down, the punter is Craig Smith, who's been doing a grand job of kicking for Utah today. Mark Williams is deep. Four minutes and four seconds to go in the game. And a, oh, what a kick. Williams can't get near this one. He hopes it's going to go into the end zone. And it does. It's a touchback. After that 58-yard uh, punt, Rich Olson, number 11, is in at quarterback for the Cougars. with, uh, And he's back to pass and tries to flip the ball. It's Oh, it goes over to Utah. McFerrin came up with it. There have been a lot of turning points in this game. That could be one there. Olsen trying to get rid of the ball when he was trapped and it got away and was recovered by McFerrin's. That's Groth back in at quarterback on the sneak for a yard. This is the second and uh, almost 10 play to go. Groth keeping the ball, gets away from a tackler. Bartell gets him at the six-yard line. At this point, you have to think about the possibility of the field goal. 2.45 to play, third down at the six-yard line. Groth handing it off, carrying the ball. Fowler being driven deep. He's going to be downed at the seven-yard line. As I suspected, Jim Sears, number 90, is in to try a field goal that can untie the score. The clock is moving. Two minutes and three seconds to go. It's a bad pass, but the kick is up. It is close. It's good. It is now Utah 17 and the Cougars 14. After an out from kickoff, it'll be kicked from the 35-yard line by Whiteley. Two minutes to play exactly, and here's a high kickoff down the middle. It's going to be taken by Del Carmichael at the 26. Here he comes to the 35 and down on the 37-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the 38. Henderson is in the shotgun. Throwing toward the sideline to Johnny Davis. Got it at the 50, and he's down at the 48. First down. The Cougars line up quickly without a huddle. And in the shotgun is Jerry Henderson. Minute and 43 to go. The clock is running. Henderson looking to Freddie Moore, sideline cut, and he has it go through his hands. This play will start with a minute and 37 to go. Henderson with a low pass, throwing, and can't catch it, Solberg. Third and 10 at the Utah 48 as Henderson gets set to pass, throws over the middle, Moore's got it, he does not have the first down, it'll be fourth and about five. After a timeout to stop the clock with a minute and 25 left to go, this is the big one on fourth down. Throwing, and it is way away from everybody, and the Cougars may have lost their last opportunity. Utah leading 17 to 14 will be concerned with running out the clock. That's Groth, tackled by two, three players, lost on the play. The Cougars stopped the clock with a timeout. Now it's second and 12 at the 42-yard line for Utah. A minute and 11 seconds to go, and again a sneak by the quarterback and nothing. WSU stopped the clock using up another timeout. A minute five to go, third down and 12 at the 42. 
And here's Groth on the sprint out. And chased, and he fumbled the ball. Who's going to get it? It's still being scrambled for. The clock is running with 37 seconds to go. Craig Smith is back to punt, and Utah is in no big hurry here to get this one away. 32, 31, 30. There's the snap finally. And the kick away. That fumble was recovered by Utah, obviously. Rick Reed does not get to the sideline, unexplicably. It would take fantastic heroics to pull this one out, and here is uh, Jerry Henderson back to throw. And he got away from that tackler. 15 seconds to play in the game. He throws complete to Ewan, 40-yard line, trying to get to the sideline. He didn't make it. I don't think the clock is still going. Six seconds to play. Five, four, three. They stop it with three seconds to go. This should be the last play, but no, he throws an incomplete pass, stopping the clock with one second to go. The scoreboard clock shows one second to play. Henderson deep in the shotgun. This has got to be all or nothing. 17 to 14. There's the long pass intended for Johnny Davis. It is too far and intercepted by Smith. A flag goes down as Smith runs out the clock. But this is just meaningless action here as Utah wins the ball game. There were combined penalties on each team. The play goes and the clock did run out. And the final score is the Utah Redskins 17, the WSU Cougars 14. Well, you've seen all the wild action, all the reasons why the final score turned out to Utah 17, WSU 14. The Cougar record is now one win, two losses for the season, and Utah's is the same. Next week, WSU takes on a team that is one of the nation's most explosive, the Arizona State Sun Devils, in a night game down in Tempe. We'll have all the filmed action for you in that one on Channel 5 next Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. This is Rod Belcher reporting from Rogers Field on the WSU campus at Pullman.